Eight local school builds are part of the government cuts to the Building Schools for the Future project. One local school is determined it won't be affected though. The school is obviously disappointed because any loss of funding to a school, particularly in these straitened financial times, is a blow and for us it means we won't be having a new sports hall built. However, um, the strength of Healing School isn't the buildings, the strength is in the people, that's the pupils, the staff, the governors and the parents and we've always been determined to do our very, very best by the school, irrespective of facilities and, and we'll just continue with that very determined approach. Though it's seen as a blow to the region, the council will be working closely with the schools affected to help them. Well, I know that this council is going to look hard at what support we can give. Um, certainly it's true that because of the way that the council has managed its finances in the last few years, um, we have actually uh, more money available than a lot of councils in this position will have. And we'll be certainly looking and working with the schools on how we can best use uh, whatever resources we can identify. I mean, schools aren't going to shut. You know, schools will be you know, still open in September. Um, for instance, the St Andrews School was due, you know, it, it's amalgamating as a school for September. The new building would have been completed, you know, in two years' time. So, so we're not thinking it's not all gloom and doom. 